Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is Guest Host Friday, and our guest host today not only is a retired NFL player, uh, executive producer, and host, but he's the host and owner of Amaze Balls, which is a pop-up restaurant and catering business. Um, he's also the man behind Mad Good Food over on Taste Made. Please welcome the incomparable Darrell Smith. Well, hello there. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. I'm your host, Blackberry. From the coveted cookbook, 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're making the cheese egg sandwich. Now, on February 17th, 1936, the great Jim Brown was born. And exactly 30 years later, on the same date, a young man by the name of Michael Jordan popped out of his mother's womb, bouncing a basketball. Fun fact for you. Now, back to the sandwich. The cheese egg sandwich. I don't know who came up with this name, but this is not a cheese egg sandwich. Let's get started. First order of business is to cook some onion and butter until it turns yellow. While that's going, we're going to drain two cups of canned tomatoes. You could also use fresh, but today I'm using canned. I'm actually going to break these up a little bit by squeezing them, which will help with the cooking process. Once our onions are nice and yellow, we're going to add our tomatoes to it. We're going to allow this to simmer for 15 minutes. Mmm, you smell good. It's really coming together. The recipe does call for one pound of American cheese. I couldn't find a block, so instead I used 16 slices, which I've cut into their own little squares. Next, we'll place our cooked tomatoes on a double boiler. I don't have a legit double boiler, so I'm using a stainless steel pot and a stainless steel bowl. One fourth teaspoon of salt and pepper. One fourth teaspoon of yellow mustard. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And we're gonna stir that all up. We'll add our one pound of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. And we'll stir this together until it's all mixed up and melted. Okay, cheese sauce is good. We're gonna beat some eggs and add that right to our mix. And we'll stir this in until the eggs are cooked. Bear with me. I was curious to know if a toaster was invented by 1936, and it was. So I'm going to use a traditional toaster to toast my English muffin. Down the hatch. To the top of our sandwich, we're going to add a broiled tomato. And I'm just going to use a torch to broil the top of it. Next. We'll add our mix right on top of some toasted English muffins. And we'll top this with our broiled tomatoes. Mmm, pop a like. Let's give this cheese egg sandwich a go. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. That's really good. You get the creaminess of the cheese, a slight bite from the tomato, but since we cooked it down, those sugars get to come out. The uh, egg was completely lost. I didn't even realize that there was egg in it when I tasted it. I think that the American cheese really came to the forefront and took over the dish, added that creaminess. Everything just melts together. You get the sweetness of cooked onion, that buttery sensation and that mouthfeel from that, as well as the American cheese. I think the smoky tomato was a nice contrast. It kind of felt like I was in a backyard barbecue. Just gave me that feel of like being in the wilderness with a nice open flame. That's a really good sandwich, but I will plus it up a little bit. I'm just going to use a little bit of habanero hot sauce and a squeeze of lemon juice for freshness. Let's give our cheese egg sandwich plussed up with habanero hot sauce and a squeeze of lemon juice a go. That is a tasty sandwich. To go back to my original point, I don't think that it's a cheese egg sandwich. Maybe looking back on the title of it, since it's cheese egg, one word, not to ease, cheese egg. Maybe it's a totally different creation of his own. If it's a cheese egg sandwich instead of a cheese egg sandwich, I think that it is a very good um, sandwich for what it is. By itself, without any plus ups, I think that the cheese egg sandwich is maybe a 6.5, maybe 7. 
on a good day, maybe 7.5 if I'm really hungry. Once you plus it up with a lemon squeeze and a bit of that habanero hot sauce, that takes it up to about a seven and a half, eight, easily. I already finished it. My lady may be back later. I'm gonna save some for her and try it at home. All right, knuckleheads. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Blackberry out.